Police continue to investigate tonight after two people were killed in a crash on 195 this morning. Now it happened on the westbound side of East Providence, creating a long backup on the highway. And tonight we're learning more about the accident and who was involved. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin is live in East Providence tonight with more. Eric. Caroline, traffic is flowing normally on 195 tonight, but earlier today at times it was brought to a standstill as crews investigated this deadly crash. For several hours, crews from the East Providence Fire Department used many tools, including the jaws of life, to remove the two victims. It was a pretty horrific accident. Rhode Island State Police have identified the two victims, both from Massachusetts. 40-year-old Stephen Megan of Palmer and 38-year-old Axel Moran of Marlboro. Police say the cargo van they were in slowed for traffic with the tractor trailer in front of it when the one behind came crashing in leaving their cargo van crushed between the two. Eyewitness News looked into the background on the second tractor trailer. Through the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, we found out it's owned by Pennsylvania-based MNR Transport, has five vehicles and five drivers, and prior to today, company trucks had not been involved in any serious accidents in the past two years. Battalion Fire Chief John Callahan says today's was one of the worst he's seen in more than 30 years on the job. Just the total magnitude of the whole scene itself was, was pretty, pretty trying. For some in the department, it was their first day on the job, and the critical incident stress team was brought in for everyone. Decompressing is a big part of this job. I mean, a lot of what we see does affect you. Uh, sometimes it takes a while for it to come to the surface, but uh, we kind of keep an eye on things, and that's why, you know, we, we put these measures in place for our members. And as for those two tractor trailer drivers, state police tell us one was taken to the hospital with minor injuries and that the other was not hurt, and an exact cause for this, this crash has not yet been released. Reporting live in East Providence, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.